the main functions of a 440, 450 console starts off with the power switch on the left hand side of the console. Basically that turns the console off and on. The next one is the rate 1, rate 2 or manual switch. By using this switch we can, act, we can let the console know if we were chasing the rate 1 calibration figure or the rate 2 calibration figure or if we'd like to operate the sprayer in manual using the increase and decrease function mainly used for troubleshooting and for starting the sprayer up. <coughs> the increase decrease switch again used in the manual mode for troubleshooting or initial start on spraying. Also we can use that spraying on the go to increase or decrease the flow from the rate that we've got set in the console. Boom section switches on a 450 console we have five boom section switches. On a 440 console there'll be three boom section switches. Again when the master's turned on these switches will turn the boom sections on and off from the left hand side of the boom through the right hand side of the boom. The master switch turns all the boom sections that are turned on and off, on and off in one go. On the right left hand side of the screen we will always be displayed at rate and that is the rate per hectare at what the sprayer is, is applying. On the right hand side of the screen we can view either of the data buttons along the bottom which are accumulative data as we're spraying or we can view any of the calibration figures along the top which are used to set the main calibration constants in the sprayer. A red LED light is illuminated in the bottom corner of each button to allow us to know which which button we have depressed and with the enter button it also lets us know that we are actually inputting data into the console. On the rear of the console there are four ports. The first port being the main console harness which supplies power to the console and all of the wiring out to the sprayer. The smaller port next to that is the speed port which we connect our speed sensor to to give us a speed readout on the console. The 16 pin connector beside that is the input from our pressure transducer if we have electronic pressure transducer on the sprayer. In this housing here we have a glass fuse to protect the circuit of the, of the console. This RS-232 port is for GPS input and data output from the console to a standalone data reader. 